Let's get into this fast four questions. You ready, bro? Let's go. All right, man. One thing you wish everybody knew about ET without you having to explain it. My f my origins are East African. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Now. My real name is actually Tarif Malik. Okay. So I yeah, I got a real nigga name. You do, bro. <laughs> It's actually if you're if you're in East Africa, it's mus it's like you're either Muslim, Muslim or Eritrean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that's why you and Nip got along so well. We got along very, very well. That's well. <laughs> what's up. Right, man. That explains a lot. Yeah. I thought you was Puerto Rican for years. I, I, everyone did. <laughs> and I, I and I never bothered to correct anybody because right. I was like, well, man, maybe I could play this angle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, you're really the hookah boys. That's yeah, what's yeah, up, right? Yeah, I'm the hookah boys. <laughs> All right, man. If you could have a, a, a guest, four guests at dinner. Who are those four guests? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to have a dinner with Joe Rogan. Okay. Um, I want I want to have Michael Jackson there because I yeah. want to hear his his real voice talking. Because we get pops to tell you he talked to him a couple times. So yeah, he, he had a he has a yeah, deeper, deeper voice, voice or a higher yeah. voice. Uh -huh. Um, and uh, uh, who's a, who's another one? Um, um, oh, Nicki Minaj because uh, uh, I think that. I would I just want to see her in a peaceful environment, and I, mm. I I have a lot of respect for her. I think she's one of the dopest rappers, yeah. male or female. She's guarded most times when she's in the public. Yeah, she's very guarded, and I think yeah. that, and I want to see her in a relaxed space. And then I I think that uh, in my opinion, I put her in my top fifteen mm. of rappers. Yeah. Period. Like you. male or female. Gotcha. Um, and then the other person is Robin Williams. Okay. Because okay. I wish I could have interviewed a guy who had that kind of magic and energy. Yeah. That was just spontaneous at a level that I'm not sure we'll ever see again. Closest thing we got to it in, on that side, and I'm, I'm not making it a white black thing. Closest thing I'd probably say would be Jim Carrey and maybe Will Ferrell. Not there, but yeah, close. Close but to it. You could have that type of. If uh, I could get Robin Williams in it and have him at it, I would just love to be around that energy for about 40, 50 minutes, yeah. hour. Just to see someone say something and him go off on like a whole a play about it, yeah. and make it a movie. It'd it's be like, four or five different people yeah, while they're doing it. At the it. same time, like, right. could you imagine, like, that's an interview I wish I could have. I've, interview, I've interviewed pretty much everyone. The Bra I, You know, I put the yeah. Braxons on a poll one time. Really? I had the Braxons. Not Tony, but all okay. the other ones. I got <laughs> a video. Like, Come break my heart on the poll. Yeah. <laughs> But I got all that's the crazy. other ones on a pole. I got, I got a video of it. They got. I got two of them kissing me in the cheek at the same yeah. time. That's yeah. this is one of the goat. I got. I got them on a pole. She was and pole. she was wearing her her Sunday's best. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> that's, what's, that's called balance, people. That's called balance. On that's the what, pole, we don't call him a legend for nothing. Et says, <laughs> "I got Jocelyn Hernandez on the pole." That's that. I mean, that's not a stretch as far yeah, as. But as but far remember, as it's a, it was it was a stretch when she said, "I never get on the pool against TB." Right, but you did it. When I got on the pole, I was like, "Yeah," and I got video of that too. Take a shot to the fireball. <laughs> all right, man. Let's get to the next question. Favorite place or venue to host of all time? Oh wow, God! This is the world's best host, and I'm not saying that. I'm saying that <sighs> really, like you, you keep a crazy energy. I've 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 been a part of mm -hmm. very many legendary clubs that became legendary mm -hmm. when we were there, and then after I was gone, whoever came on after it was already popping. Like right. Mansion was already popping. Pop, yeah. Before anybody else came and hosted in DJ, period. Like, we had people coming from other markets. Yeah. Very, Mansion was one of my favorites. Obsessions. Mm. <sighs> Club Crunk. Primetime. Yeah. Um, um, what else, man? Um, Studio 72 was major. Club Miami. Miami was crazy. You know, up to my Tuesday night when we used to do Mint Lounge. Mm. That was like, you know, I remember. Uh, uh, oh, that's my, up on 85, you know, right? Rice Skin Keisha used to be like, man, yeah. when y'all bring back Tuesdays? Yeah. Um, yeah, like green lights in there. Or yeah, we it was it was sexy. So yeah, Mint Lounge, nice. um, but yeah, man, I would say Obsession Studio Seventy Two Club Mansion mm. were probably like the legendary clubs of Atlanta. If you were eighteen to like thirty, yeah, um, those were the legendary spots, man. Um, but I've hosted so many so many things, man. Like college campuses. Yeah, uh, I've been, I've been blessed, man. Like you know, the fact that people want to hear me talk on a mic. Yeah. Like it I'm, feels crazy sometimes, right? Like it's crazy. Like it's, I do it every day, like with a passion. Yeah. People put a mic in my face, and I'm like, man, all right, let me do what I do. Right. You know what I mean? Right now, who you with? Reese. Reese. Who you with? Right now, who you with?